Hello, I am here to talk to you about Deep Light by Frances Hardinge. This is the story of Hark, who grew up an orphan in a cruel world. His only friend is fellow orphan Jelt, and even Jelt is willing to put Hark's life in danger and sell him out for a high enough payday. That is how, when one of Jelt's plans went south, Hark ended up getting punished and caring for old priests on this exiled island. Now, these priests are not the ones that you or I might be familiar with. These were priests who catered to the old gods, the ones who used to live beneath the sea and demanded human sacrifices. The priests were in charge of appeasing these gods and keeping them from doing even worse things to the people on the islands. And something happened that killed all the gods off. And when that happened, some of the priests, uh, well, they haven't quite recovered yet. Um, the gods' only proof that they used to exist is that they still have pieces of their body at the bottom of the sea. And sometimes foolhardy divers will go down and try to collect pieces of these god bodies because they have magical properties and it can be very lucrative, although dangerous. Now, when Hark makes a life-changing discovery of something that he believes was once a piece of one of these gods, he isn't sure who to trust. One of these retired priests on the island, these new zealots who want to bring the old gods back, this genius scientist who's trying to discover how all of this works, or his old friend Jelt who has come back out of the blue and once again wants something more from Hark. If you like stories about monsters and science fiction and mystery, if you like books with great world building, if you're familiar with the stories of H.P. Lovecraft, then this would be a great story for you. It has a lot of action and adventure, but it has a lot of heart to it as well. It is Deep Light by Francis Hardinge, and it has a little bit of something for everybody.